Welcome. Welcome to First Impressions. First Impression is the new segment uh, where I give you my first impression on a anime or a manga. Now, instead of giving you like a full review, because sometimes, let's be honest, you don't get to finish the manga or the anime because you just leave it. And a first impression, I thought it would be a kind of a good way to kind of gauge whether you would be interested or not. So I want to start off this segment with something that uh, hits kind of close to home, and that is a manga. The manga in question is Dinosaur Sanctuary. Um, Dinosaur Sanctuary, I have not finished it. Uh, I am this far into the manga so far, and is the first chapter, and my first impression so far is that it's, it's going to be just like a little cute and uh, overall wholesome anime. This is pretty much what would happen if Tanjiro uh, from Demon Slayer wrote Jurassic Park. Uh, Dinosaur Sanctuary is about this girl, her name is Susume, and there's dinosaurs all over Japan in zoos and sanctuaries pretty much. So the smallest one and the one that is struggling the most to keep up is the one she joins. And she is incredibly passionate about dinosaurs, which, you know, not a whole lot of people are. And because this is in this world, it's just like a normal thing. It's like a normal zoo, so it's you know like it's not a it's not a new thing. It's just like everyone goes on and on with them. So like oh, they get the same excitement from watching a Tyrannosaurus than watching a lion per se. So. This struggling dinosaur sanctuary uh, is trying to come up with better ways to like improve the the health of the dinosaurs and attract new clients and bring new revenue and stuff like that. And they cannot afford to bring new people, but they bring this one because she seems very passionate and related to someone of importance. But we don't know who that is. Um, so far in the chapters, you get to learn a lot about dinosaurs. They, they're they not showing you like, oh, this is a Velociraptor and this is a T-Rex, which are like the usual dinosaurs. They're showing you the Giganotosaurus. Um, they're showing you the Pterodons. Like, not necessarily the dinosaurs that you would find popular, but more of the dinosaurs that... Um, would be a little bit more niche per se and they do talk about like the necessities that these animals have and how they paint them in a way that is not necessarily the one of oh you're just a monster it's more of a you you are an animal in one of the uh, in one of the early chapters we see a uh, giganotosaurus uh, think of it as a t-rex who is just shy and has some sort of bond with the zookeeper. But the zookeeper doesn't really realize it until this girl comes around and tells him, like, hey, look, she is just bonded with you. So I, I really like the fact that they are not painting the dinosaurs as like killing machines and just as animals. I think that's a very fresh take. So, so far, I'm really liking it. Um, and I cannot wait for this to get an anime. I have no idea how recent it is, but I literally bought it like a month ago. Uh, so if there's more, I'm definitely going to get it. And those have been my first impressions of Dinosaur Sanctuary. If, uh, if you like this new segment, let me know, comment. And if you didn't like it, well, shame on you because I have, I have Kalan right here. Say hi. He approves of Dinosaur Sanctuary. Anyways, thank you for joining, and I'll see you later. Bye.